Listen, Grand Cave. Ever since I watched those TikTok thirst traps, and do y'all know what I mean when I say those TikTok thirst traps? Anyway, so. Oh, fuck! Those ones. Mm. Yeah, ever since we deep dove into that uh, like a few months ago, I've had this like chronic fear of eating out. L not like people, but or like like eating out at restaurants. Um, I don't. Any anyway, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I've been scared. I don't know if this is PTSD um, from from a TikTok. I don't know if that's possible, but I think I have it because I am so scared to eat at restaurants because I'm just like, what is the chef doing in the kitchen? Like I kid you not, I was at a restaurant and my food didn't come for like 45 minutes, and in my head I'm like, you are literally fingering my pizza dough. <laughs> Anyways, the way things work around here is that if I am traumatized by something, why can't everybody else feel that way? Also, are we rocking with the office space? I just moved y'all and I've never had like an office to like film stuff. So I just feel so like academic. Like I'm literally on a spinny chair filming in an office. Like, hello? Do you guys want an office tour real quick? I have a chair back there in case I need to put anybody on timeout. I definitely want to decorate the walls because it is looking a little stark and bland. So I do have my Courtney masks that I ordered on Etsy. As you guys know, I'm like a big fan of her. I, I really want to meet her one day so that my rice purity score can severely decrease. So for now, I think I'm going to put these like on the wall just so that whenever Whenever I walk into the office, I can just be reminded of what my next meal will be. <laughs> that was that was timeout worthy. Like that sentence. When a good thing goes bad, it's not the end of the world. It's just okay, let's watch these TikToks. I'm scared. I'm scared and I'm crying for my mother. Why do y'all do this to me? Like, I literally will be like, don't send me this. And y'all are like, Auntie Deb, Grandma Deb, I got something for you. Take it back. Don't want it. I need to get one of those like laptop stands. So I can put my laptop on something. For now, we're gonna use a box. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. This is actually kind of ghetto, but we move. Oh, he's a black guy. Wait, guys, I actually don't see black men do this. We need to normalize. Ah, not Duchess in the likes. What was that? Yep. Maybe this is good. This. Let me finish this. Sometimes it burns. How many people were scared? Okay. Me too. I was really, really scared. I don't know how to describe it, but I literally felt that. I, I felt I felt him going through my folds, actually. Not the chickens, my own. I wanna be in the room with the people that come up with these ideas. Like, what was going down in the writer's room when this TikTok was being made? Uh, honestly, I love your ideas of like a normal cooking video, but I just, I'd rather see you kind of just like take that chicken breast and like slice it down the middle, you know what I mean? And instead of just kind of like throwing it on the skillet, I want you to actually pour it down the crevice, like like down the folds of the chicken itself. And, and, and before you actually put it on the stove, why don't you just, Glide your two fingers down there. Slowly, slowly though. And and then like continue on. We can do that, right? Perfect. He had to have gotten that idea from someplace or maybe from indulging in some action. I'm genuinely scared of like hooking up with men because I'm just like, I just don't know what's gonna go through their heads. Like I just, I never know what men are thinking. But now I don't have to worry. You know, maybe in their heads, all they're thinking of is like, damn, like this, this will be good for my next cooking video. Also, how are you gonna assault that chicken and then just continue the meal? Like he actually skipped over that, like nothing happened. And then he, he read an empty book. Did we catch that? After assaulting a piece of produce, he read an empty book with zero words on the page. Police! Police! Help! <laughs> there is nothing on that page. Can we zoom in, please? What are you reading? Ingredients used. Cup of rice, lime, seed. Oh my, like, I don't care. You just fingered chicken. You think I care about this recipe? Like honestly the next bridge I see, I'm jumping over it. At least the comments have some sense. TikTok is the app where I actually need to be concerned for y'all because the comments will actually go so crazy. I'm like, wait, this is this is actually a simulation. She like the fuck the suck, suck the fuck. I'm the icy man. Show me a jiggle, let me see. Let me see. Let me see the woman that is with me. Put a couple thousand dollars on your wrist. 
Why are you out here pulling cords and being like, Ugh. For a TikTok video, I promise you could have done that in the bathroom. You didn't have to film that. And this video is 54 seconds long. How am I supposed to get through this video? watching this bro i can't sit here and torture myself like this hashtag waffles hashtag yummy hashtag treat hashtag ice cream you mean to tell me you're out here eating food and you're like wait what if i just like moaned all over this honestly when i see videos like this i just want to ask them like would you do this for a live audience no delete it delete it actually like please <laughs> please yeah Beautiful recipe. I see you, Miss Asia Queen. I came from the parody, and I'm ashamed to admit this, lol. But this was actually... <sighs> hey, whatever pays the bills. She got a point. If this is what's keeping that electricity going so that you can make these recipes, I mean, yeah, I would, I would eat out some oranges too. No, I wouldn't, but like, I, I get you. I'm having a panic attack right now, like, oh my gosh. <gasps> Ew! No, 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 no. Hashtag pumpkin, hashtag Halloween. Petit gâteau pumpkin, spiced chocolate, pumpkin core, Italian. Like, what? I, I'm sorry, we need to watch that again. There's just no way. Oh. <laughs> overanalyze but it sounds like he filmed that he filmed the voiceover after so now I'm picturing him like filming this TikTok thirst trap and then after he's done editing this in CapCut he does like the voiceover feature and he's like you like that <laughs> no I don't like that like raise your hand if you were turned on by that I know one person sitting there like me yeah you can leave I'm so sorry y'all it's just like the man took a flour mixer and put it on his crotch and then rolled his neck back. Let me find out you do this on the regular. I can barely get behind opening up that chicken and sliding your fingers to the crevice. Now you wanna take a flour mixer, an innocent appliance, grind up against it, and then moan. Mm -mm. And he kissed it! Like, you have the cord for your flour mixer wrapped around your hand like it's some belt or some like bedroom toy, and then you grind it up on that flour mixer bowl and then proceed to kiss it, asking them, Oh, you like that? You like when I slap you like that? Does the appliance ever respond? Like, after he's done like assaulting his fruits and vegetables, do they say, like, Yes, daddy! And also, I've said this before, like, I get that the food is like slippery and slimy and wet, and we're supposed to like watch it and kind of picture ourselves there. Like, I could understand being a piece of chicken breast, as sad as that may sound. And you know, me being the pumpkin was a little left field, but now I'm a flour mixer. Now I'm an appliance in your kitchen, and you're making thirst traps out of it. Like, imagine you like this man's house. And like he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll cook for you. Don't worry, like I'm a chef. And as you're like just trying to relax on your phone, from behind you, all you hear is somebody whisper intimately, you like that? And you look back thinking like, oh, like I wonder if he's talking to me. No, he's talking to his pumpkin. <laughs> he's talking to his pots and pans. Not you, actually. You like that? Oh, are you talking? Oh no, you're good. Oh, you're not. I was talking to my you're air fryer. To your toaster. Yeah. Uh. Oh, sorry. You could just keep watching TV. Okay. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I have a lot more of my tags to go through, but mentally, I don't think I can do that. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think I can do that right now. Like, I would love to go through all of them, but unfortunately, I've reached my peak of trauma today. I, I'm sorry, I would love to, you know, go through the next 20, but I just hope you guys, I hope you guys can understand. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I can tell you right now, I didn't. I don't know how many times I have to say this. Please stop tagging me in thirst traps that will make me uncomfortable. And you guys know me, you know me so well, like we've known each other for so long, you know what I'm not gonna like. So y'all tagging me in this has to be sabotage. Y'all are out to get me, out to get grandma. Hmm. Some grandchild you are. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I love you more than my air fryer, even though she turns me on so much. What? I'm never gonna say that again. Um, I'm just gonna stop talking, actually. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. I think we would all prefer if you stop talking. So I'm, I'm gonna go now.